Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our Vermabag Max. Now, it has been about 27 days since our last update. I added a ton of food last time. There were still some fruit flies in there, and we're going to see how it's doing and see if we can get rid of them and get this system just flowing a little bit better. So we're going to continue to work on this. Even if there's a fruit fly issue, we're still going to add food. We're still going to add, not bedding material because there's probably enough in there, but we're going to add more moisture to the system. We're going to get this moving. So. With that, let's go take a look at the system and see how it's doing. And just as a reminder, I do have some links down below for products that you could purchase from Amazon or from Vermabag, the company. So, you know, just if you're looking to buy something, you know, if you click those links and purchase something, it does help me out a little bit. No matter what you buy on Amazon, of course, with Vermabag, you'd be buying something from them. That would also help as well. But, you know, with that, let's go to the system and take a look and see how it's doing. All right, as we start opening this up, I do want to say before I open this up for everybody else here, I did open it on my own and just do a check for fruit flies and vacuum some of them up. Uh, I'm reopening it again for your benefit. There's a couple still on the top here, but hopefully there's not too many in here. First thing we're going to look at here, you can see this thing is just filled um, with fruit flies. We'll probably have to restock this at some point, but right now it looks like it's still working. There was a lot of dead fruit flies on the top here. Still some more crawling out here. And let me flip this over and take a look on under the underside here. You can see that it's nice, a little bit of moisture, not too bad. Some fruit flies on there as well. Hopefully they won't go through the rest of my house, but you know, I, there's not much I can do. I just need to keep this system moving because I'm, I'm afraid that I'm doing more damage by holding it back than actually getting it flowing better. So what we're going to do right now is uh, kill those fruit flies on the sides that we can see. And now we're going to start digging into this and just take a look here. It's starting to separate a little bit from the sides. We've got good moisture content in the middle. Lots of worms. Finally, the worms are starting to come up here into the bedding and start to consume this stuff. So this is what we really wanted to see. So we're going to dig down in here and just see how it's going. There's still some more fruit flies coming out. Might need to add a little bit of moisture to this. It seems a little bit dry. But overall, this is definitely working pretty well. So this is starting to get moving again. You can see that we've got a nice base there in the bottom. Got a mango seed right here, but we got the worms in there. Oops, that does not look like a, oh yeah, that is the, but you can see we've got these worms in here. They're starting to, I'm gonna get that to focus. If it'll focus on there, there we go. I think that's focusing, but you can see the worms are starting here. They're starting to move their way up, which is a good sign. We're just gonna rotate this around some more. But they are definitely starting to show up in here more and more. So as, whoop, if I can grab them, but you can see we were starting to see these worms in here. They're really starting to maneuver their way up. The bedding material itself is starting to break down. This is a good sign, as that's what we really need in this system, is for this bedding material to just start to break down. And that way the worms can start moving through all of this. And we can start putting more paper in here again to kind of load it up with more food. So. Here we go. Here's, I think, the last place where we fed. We've still got some coffee grounds over here, it looks like. And I don't know if you can see those, but there are definitely some pot worms on here. I'll bring it up towards the camera. This camera doesn't focus quite as well. But there you go. I think you can see them. There's definitely pot worms on here. Those are not red wigglers, and there's a fruit fly crawling in them. But that's okay. We're just trying to get this moving as best we can. And we're just going to keep moving stuff up to the surface and get this all rotated in. So it looks like this is starting to do really well though. We're seeing that the material is breaking down. It is a little bit dry. I think we are gonna add some water in here and we'll probably add some with our fruit fly or our, our BTI mix that uh, would help kill the fruit flies in here hopefully. So we're gonna actually feed right in the center here this time. We're gonna just, what's this thing? That's just a piece of compost that's a little bit sticky. There's a pumpkin stem right here, so couple things over here that feels a little bit weird as well a little different all right either way we're going to keep going we're going to add a, again a lot of food to the system i'm trying to dig out a nice big hole here that we can use to put it in i've got to get this system up and functioning fully where the worms can really start moving through stuff now with this because of the way we're doing this and the fact that we are starting to actually they are starting to eat through this paper. I think I'm going to throw in a little bit more paper in here. I'm not going to throw in a lot, just enough to shield the worms from the 
frozen food I'm putting in. So I'm just going to grab my bucket of paper that I keep off to the side here. And I'm just going to throw in, just, a, just as I said, not a lot. This is not going to be a lot of paper. Just a sprinkling of paper over the bottom here. A little bit more than that. There we go. And that's just, as I said, to protect the worms from the cold food that I'm putting in. So I'm going to add a lot of food here. So just as we did last time, let me get some of this stuff off my gloves make sure there's no worms on here. You rip open, I have this bag of peas that went bad when our during a trip. So there we go, that's in there. And then we have a big thing right here of banana, celery, carrot, coffee grounds. Um, I'm not even sure what's on the bottom on this thing. It looks like maybe some bad spinach or something like that. Yeah, some, some stuff that went bad in the fridge. So just a huge conglomerate chunk of stuff. And I know that some people say, oh my gosh, I'm putting in too much or, you know, but the thing is, is that these systems can really handle this. That's what's so great about them and why I love these systems. They can handle these types of feedings. I do this very frequently in my urban worm bag and I was doing it in this one until we had the fruit fly issue and then I was trying to get rid of that. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab some more um, paper for the top here. By the way, when I'm doing the paper, I'm using my dry hand because this hand's a little bit wet. Stuff tends to stick to it putting a little bit more paper on the top here. And then actually I could also throw in, while I'm doing this, my crushed crab and eggshell. There we go. One little fruit fly on the side there. And you know, this the, with this, we're gonna kind of cover this up with this material. Try to cover it pretty good. This material is a little bit thicker than it was before. Now with that, there's one thing I am going to do and that is I'm going to make a flat section over here. Oh, this is that pumpkin stem. I'm just going to bury that underneath here. And I'm going to make a little bit of a flat area over here. And the reason why for that is that way I can put in my container of fruit fly trap stuff. So that's the soap vinegar mixture. I've had multiple videos on it, but um, I've been throwing that in here to try to contain the fruit flies. Now we're going to add some water and I'm going to add my mix that has BTI in it. So I keep some BTI or mosquito dunks or whatever you want to call them. I keep that in a container with water in it so it's ready to go and it's inoculated. I'm going to put some of that in here. So I'm just putting in a couple. This is just a, uh, what is this? 10 ounces. Of, uh, of water or so, so I think that might be weight though. So this has about a couple cups of water in it, like three cups of water. So in this container that I'm probably getting in here. So putting that in there, that's gonna get it a little bit more moist. And really all we have to do now is cover it back up and let this sit. There wasn't, the fruit flies weren't too bad in here. Um, there were a lot of them that were dead. Uh, as you can see last time we had the cup over here, we're going to put it back on this side over here. Um, but this actually works really well. Let me just see. Taking a whiff, it does still have that apple, um, apple cider vinegar smell. There's still, I'm sure the Dawn dish soap is in there. I don't think that really dissolves or goes anywhere. So that should still be good to go. And that's it for this update. So we're going to close this back up. We're going to leave this. They should probably work through this faster than, uh, you know, than the update that we did this time. So we'll try to come back a little bit earlier and try to get this really, really moving through food because I've got a lot of food built up in my freezer that I need to start going through. And these systems, including my urban worm bag uh, with the European night crawlers, really need to start moving through that stuff. So, and again, if you're curious, this is what I add to my uh, water. I have a bucket of water with the one of these mosquito dunks sitting in it. I just keep refilling it until the dunk is gone and try not to scoop that up and throw it in my bin itself. But uh, you know that, that way it slowly dissolves and these are supposed to last for 30 days or something like that. I have links down below if you're looking to purchase one, but uh, I highly recommend them. They do seem to keep uh, the fungus gnats away and they do seem to work on fruit flies, but not quite as well. So I, I, do, th I do like having that in the water and it is supposed to be uh, good for organic gardening. Um, so with that, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and let me know.